Tony Ferguson takes on Benil Dariush this weekend at UFC 262, and I like this fight for many, many reasons. Obviously, Tony Ferguson went on a 12 or 13 or 14 fight winning streak. I can't even remember how many fights it was. Prior to him, uh, of course, losing to Justin Gaethje in quite a spectacular fashion, and then, of course, Charles Oliveira doing what he did to Tony Ferguson. So, Tony Ferguson's really at a crossroads here now as to whether or not he still belongs in the top five or six of the lightweight division. If he obviously loses this weekend to Benil Dariush, he's got to slide back down and he's got to go back to the drawing board. There's been a few weird things that have been happening with Tony Ferguson across the last three or four years, but that's obviously part of what makes him so good, or you'd think makes him so good. There's that delicate balance between being a brilliant genius and just being a little bit mental. And that's kind of the the, the place where we find... Uh, Tony Ferguson, you know, you think of John Jones and he has to have all these things going sort of a bit sideways and pear-shaped in his life to perform the way he performs. Um, and Tony Ferguson is one of those guys where he's a little bit crazy, but he's bloody good. And in his last two fights, the crazy's been too much and his talent hasn't quite been there. You know, Justin Gaethje beat the brakes off him and Charles Oliveira just mauled him for the entire of that fight. So... It will be interesting to see which Tony Ferguson we get. When we look at Benil Dariush, I think he's won six or seven in a row now. Um, and you look at the, his victories, they've been varied. He's won by decision, he's won by submission, he's won by knockout. Um, he's come back from adversity against Drakkar Close. If you haven't seen the fight with Drakkar Close, Benil Dariush is pretty much out on his feet. And then he came back and knocked out Drakkar Close. It was fantastic. It was one of those... Back and forth fights, one of those moments, one of those Travis Brown, Andre Arlovskis, one of those Pat Barry, Czech Congo sorts of fights. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. But this is a perfectly matched fight for someone who is climbing the division to see if they can hang with the top five guys. And a guy who's been in the top five for so long and has had a couple of bad results and he's basically seeing, hang on a minute, I deserve to still be here. So... Tony Ferguson versus Benil Dariush has all of the ingredients to be the fight of the night. I think it will be more entertaining than Chandler versus Oliveira, but that, of course, remains to be seen. But I'm excited for both fights. I'm excited for the car that they put on. But Benil Dariush versus Tony Ferguson, I think that's going to be a barn burner.